Hey, this is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and I was going to say Stillmeyer Jamie. Um, and today I'm doing a live stream of Rolling Realms Game 23, Round 1. We're going to be using the Scythe Realm. So in Scythe, you are going to mark off a, either a number in the top row and gain the resource, or cross off a number in the bottom row, pay the resource, and gain a star. Or, optimally, you'll use a number a top row number, cross off that number in the top row, gain the resource, and then directly below it, spend the resource right away without even acknowledging the number there and gain a star. It's kind of a two for one there. In between two cities, you're simply writing down a number on any of these cells as long as it's not directly orthogonally adjacent to that same number. When you complete a row or column, you gain resources. Between two cities looks at the number of stars that you've earned from the other two realms. It picks the lower scoring of those two realms and it gains that many stars with a maximum of the number of cells you've actually filled in in between two cities. And Libertalia, one of the new promo realms. If you don't have this realm, you can just substitute another realm if you wanna play along live um, or you can get this from our web store. In Libertalia, you will um, write down a number on one of these nine pirates to complete it. Each pirate is a two digit. For it to be complete, it needs two digits. So you need to add a digit to that pirate to complete it. You'll either gain a resource below it, or if you can, you can pay coins or uh, hearts, pumpkins. You can pay the cost, uh, as shown below a few of these pirates, to gain a star at the point of completion. The only rule you need to follow in Libertalia is that... Um, any completed pirates must be in ascending order. So if I write down a two here and make this 21, I cannot write down a one here to make that 16 because that would be in descending order. At the end of the round, if you have managed to complete all nine pirates, you'll gain two extra stars. That's a tough one to complete, but I feel like this is a good combination to maybe complete Libertalia. Let's see if the dice agree. We start out with a six and a one. Okay, a six and a one. It's a little early for Scythe, so I might hold off on that for a minute here. Uh, uh, six or a one work fine in Libertalia in between two cities. The one is probably better for Libertalia. So let's go ahead and put that one. I like the one right here. I, I, like, uh, I like that one. So let's put the one there. I gain a pumpkin and a heart. And let's put the six... Right in the middle, I generally go for the middle number here in between two cities. I, I like that middle number a lot. So I think I will continue that pattern. I'll just go for that middle number. All right, turn two. Feel free to pause if I go too fast. I usually go through these rounds pretty quickly. Another six and a one. Okay, interesting. Uh, I, I need another one in Libertalia, so that's, that's fine with me. Uh, sure, we'll put a one right there. Get another heart. And now I think... So I could put the six anywhere in between two cities, but I put that right in the middle. So I'd have to put it in a corner if I want to do that. So I lean towards using the six over here in Scythe, which costs me a resource, but that's not terrible. So I use the six here, I gain a pumpkin, and then right away I'm going to cross off the bottom row section, spending a heart and gaining a star. First star on the board today. Turn two. All right, turn three. A five and a one. Okay, I'm sensing a pattern here. A five and a one. Okay, so Libertalia is a little tight on coins. So we need to get coins when we can. So how can we get some coins? The one, there is a one over here inside. If I put the one over there, I do have a heart to spend on the bottom row. And the five I could use in between two cities, maybe even in Libertalia right away, but it might be a little early for that. Let's go ahead and use the one over here inside. So that gains us a coin, which we need. Then we will spend a heart to get this bottom row crossed off as well. Pretty efficient in Scythe so far. So we've only used the one. I have a coin now. The question is, do I put a five right here? Oh no, I don't have a heart anymore, so I can't. Well, I mean, I could write down a five here, but I, uh, I'm looking at Libertalia, the second to last pirate down at the bottom. I could write down a five right now, but I wouldn't be able to pay for the star. That's my only chance to gain the star from that pirate. So, oh, it's tough not to write down a number in Libertalia though. That is, that is a tough thing. So I think I might go ahead and do it. Um, and do it on the, the 52 instead. So that would mean that this would have to be a 54, which is precarious. Um, oh, man, that's risky. I don't know if I want to do it that do it that early. So I think I'll go for the easy way out here. Let's just put the five right here. I want to do something every turn in Libertalia. And that might come back to bite me because I need to do things in, in between two cities often too. Uh, turn four. 
a four and a three. And so far, I haven't noted it, but we've had three uh, rolls come up that add up to seven. And when that happens, uh, you can spend two coins to copy one of those numbers. I haven't been able to do that yet. And I probably won't be able to because I need these coins for Libertaria, but the opportunity is there if I want. A four could give me another coin, which is great. Let's go ahead and do that. So a four is a coin. I can also use a pumpkin right away. Pumpkin, I gained another coin. Um, so that's the four. The three, again, going in the pattern, I need to continue to use it in Libertalia. I think this needs to be a two right there. This could be a 33, 34. That could be pretty cool. That gives me some flexibility. I actually like that a lot. So let's put the three right here and get two more hearts. And now I could, and this is probably worth it, I could use one of these coins in between two cities. And I think I should. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. And maybe it'll be a mistake, but we'll try it. I'm going to put a one value right there in between two cities. Because with a single other number, any other number other than six, I can get two more coins. Another six and a one, of course. Of course, we have another six and a one here on turn five. Does not help me inside. That's okay. We're ahead of the pace inside a little bit. I can't put a six here, but I could put a one. And I could use the six over here in the Britalia on the easy spot. I'm running out of, that would be my last easy spot in the Britalia, but I think I need to do that. So let's put the one right here, gain two more coins. And then I could also do a six here and then bet on a six there, but that's really not very flexible. So I don't think I want to do that. I think I will just, yeah, in fact, that still leaves the flexibility later to put a six here. So let's put a six right there. We'll just gain a star from Libertalia. Okay. And I don't think I need to push or anything inside, at least not yet. I have a couple more turns to do that. A five and a three. We still haven't rolled a two, but it's nice to see some variety here in these fives. So here's an opportunity to do one of two things inside. I probably should take that opportunity. Um, the three and the five could both work over here. I could put the three right here and pay two coins. I could also use the five up here on either of these spots, ideally probably this one. Okay, so what do I wanna do here? I like the three right there because that still lets me do a four or a five in these two top top two spots. Costs a lot of coins, but I think it's worth doing it. In fact, I will use all of my coins if I do this thing here. But I think it's worth it. Let's use the three right there and two coins to gain a star. We'll use the five over here in Scythe. I gain a heart, but I pay a coin. Gain a heart, pay a coin to gain another star. Again, a little ahead of the pace on side. That's for the most part okay. You don't want to wait until the last minute. I, I like the pace in there. I haven't done much in, in between two cities. And the thing that I mentioned earlier doesn't often come into play, but it might come into play here where even if I get all six stars from Scythe and Libertalia, I need to, to fill in at least six slots in between two cities or I can't get uh, I can't get those six stars from either of the other realms. So I need to pick up the pace for between two cities right away um not now though i think five and a three yeah let's uh although I, you know i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna i'm gonna use these three hearts i had a five and a three here yeah still have it right there five and a three to fill in one of these rows a little bit more um let's put a five right here yeah let's put a five right there that way we can get another coin in a second if we need it. Okay, turn seven. A five and a one, of course, of course, because we've already had that this round. Five and a one. Ooh, that doesn't help me in scythe, but I have some buffer in scythe. I have a little extra time there. I could put the one or the five here in between two cities, and I can't use the one in Libertalia. So let's do the one over here in between two cities. We'll put that one right there. We'll get a heart and we'll get a coin. And the five, I think it's time to use that in Libertalia. I can put it on either of these two slots at the end. So if I put it here, either way, I'm kind of betting on a four or a six. Um, and I don't really know what I'll roll. So I think I'm going to use, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to, a little bit of a gamble there. We'll see if it works out. All right. 
Okay, two more turns. We're doing pretty well. Okay. This is a pretty intense game. Oh, six, uh, of course. I, I was hoping to not have a six in Libertalia, and we hit two sixes. That will make things challenging, really challenging. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I didn't, but I didn't know what I was going to roll. No one knew, knew what I was going to roll there. Two sixes. Well, we can use one in scythe. Let's use one down here. Cost me a pumpkin. So you can use just in the bottom row. You can do bottom row only in scythe to get that star if you need it. I've done that here. You got to put, I mean, I, can, I cannot put the six in Libertalia, and that might ruin my chance at completing Libertalia, unfortunately, because of that five, 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 but the five right there would have been okay, but I didn't. So we're going to need pumpkins. Let's put that six right here. And yeah, I mean, that, that really was not ideal. I can't create anything. Yeah, we're kind of have to going to have to get lucky here. I need a four. I need a four and a two. I need a couple twos. Let's see what we get. A five and a two. Okay, so I got a little bit of what I need. Probably not enough. But let's see what we can do here. I can complete a row or column between two cities, which is nice. I have a two down here inside to get a star, but I don't have the coin to pull it off. And I also could put that two over here in Libertalia to get two pumpkins. I wish it were probably impossible to complete Libertalia, but I, I don't think I can at this point. So, let's just do our best. Um, so what I can do is I can put a two right here in between two cities. That gets me a pumpkin and a coin. And if I do that, I can use a five right here in Libertalia and spend that coin of the pumpkin that I just received to get another star, which I think is worth it. It must be, right? There's a five. Spent those two things, get another star. I think that is, you know, I've spent all but one resource. I think that is the best I can do here. It's not too bad. I was really hoping, I thought this was a good combination to complete Libertalia, really hoping that could happen. Didn't quite happen, but still ended up with 13.1 stars, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So close in Libertalia. If I had bet on that, so if I had written the five down over on the fifth, where the 52 is now, I could have put the six here and then, um, I don't know, I still probably wouldn't have been able to get the coins that I needed to pull it off. So probably just wasn't going to happen. I had fun playing anyway. It was a tense game. Nice tense game there. Let me know in the comments below how you ended up doing in this realm. And I'll be back tomorrow for another live play, round two. I'll see you then. Bye.